yo guys good morning today is 20 august 2019 it's a beautiful tuesday and i have a breaking news for you guys and um before i go over to this news don't forget if this is your first time of watching any of our news um, do make sure for you not to miss out on the breaking and trending news in nigeria um, try and subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get updated and notified whenever there is a breaking news for you so the agents of the economic and financial crime commission efcc are raiding the resident of ambode former governor of lagos state in Ekbe area of lagos state uh, so tony um, arilade efcc spokesman confirmed this to kebu on Tuesday, that is today, the 20th of August, he said the, the graft agency had received petitions against the governor and that is um, that it was investigating his administration. Um, from his statement, in quote, he says, yes, we received petitions regarding the governor and we are investigating. He said in response to a question from the cable, when asked if the agents of the commission are at the residence of the governor, he said yes, that is part of the investigation. So a federal high court in Lagos had ordered the freezing of three bank accounts allegedly linked to the former governor over a 9.9 .9 billion fraud following an expert application by the EFCC, the accounts are domiciled in First City Monument Bank, Access Bank, and Zenith Bank. All right. So um, the EFCC had prayed the court to freeze the account pending the conclusion of an investigation and possible prosecution of um, Adesaya, permanent secretary in the office of the chief of staff to the governor of the state for money laundering. Kumi Daniel, a member of the EFCC investigating team, said the anti-graft agency discovered a huge inflow um, of about 9 billion naira, 9.9 .9 billion, from the state account into FCMB bank account, open on September 17, 2018, during the administration of Ambode. He said the account was operated by Adesenya. Adesanya, Ambode denied operating those accounts, saying he had no personal link to them. Those accounts were opened in the course of normal operations by the state, um, the Lagos state government for its administrative purposes and not for the former governor's personal transaction, as was being wrongly insinuated, and have been operated to ensure smooth operations of government activities by previous and present administrations. He had said in a statement issued by Habib Aruna, his media aide, the former governor was not and will never be involved in any unauthorized use of government property and resources. All right, so that is the breaking news I have for you guys. Today, the 20th of August 2019, it's a beautiful Tuesday. And um, let me know what you think about this. Um, why do you think EFCC is going after Ambode? A lot of people are actually stipulating that um, when you are against uh, the administration of your party, right, um, they try everything human possible to bring you down. Remember Ambode um, was not, uh, what, how do I put it, he was not given a mandate to run for a second term as the Lagos state governor, I think one of the governor in Nigeria that was not permitted, all right, um, should I call it by the godfather of Lagos state that is Tinibu to run for the second term in office. He only served for one tenure, okay, in his administration. Well, only God knows why um, it was so. So, but so far, so good. Um, nobody really knows what is going on. I'm going to give you every necessary details of this EFCC raid and the petition of Ambode um, with EFCC concerning this 9.9 .9 billion Naira fraud. All right. So um, for you to keep updated and updated, make sure you subscribe so you get every necessary update. 
on this story so if you have anything to contribute you can put it down in the comment section below i will see you guys in another video